reports of violent outbreaks near your current location. Damn, and that means the cops. You need to get the hell out of there.
Thomas, over here. This might not have been a good idea. Squatters and addicts have moved in, and they don't like company. Come this way. I have something to show you. I used my security clearance to do a little checking up on you. I found this folder in your supplemental personnel file. During your last physical, they found several abnormalities. For starters, your bone and muscle densities are off the chart. You have a reputation for being tough, but who knew? You also have a hyperactive serotonergic system in the brain. What that means, I have no idea. And lastly, there's a chest x-ray that's been redacted. Redacted? Yeah, right where your esophagus and larynx are. Someone's blacked out the x-ray and added the notation, see subjects PR-56. A PR-56 is a special addendum to a personnel record, and yours is classified black. That's pretty top-level security, way beyond either you or me. Our government is awfully interested in you. I didn't know. Well, now you do. Maybe I shouldn't have told you, but there it is. Oh, and I also left something there on the counter for you. Popular modification to the standard taser. You were about to faint there. Come on, let's get this over with. Scavengers looking for parts to sell, or just maniacs destroying things. We have to find a terminal that isn't damaged. Hello. Looks like someone left the master key in the lock. You search this office. I'll take that one over there. Look for a computer that's in working order. found a working computer. It's a search engine specific to the library. Just type in the torturer's name, and we should get the latest info from the local news, including broadcast feeds. Damn it. Can anything else go wrong? We'll have to find the server room and get the network back. Are you there? shortly. In an emergency, please use my authorized bureau cell number. Physical evidence received and stored.
Back off, you bastard. Come any closer and I'll rip your head off. Rosa, it's me, Thomas. Oh. Oh, he, he must have clobbered me in the back of the head before taking off. Are you okay? There, there were these, these shadowy things standing over you. What? Look, while you're chasing shadows, that jerk tried to kill me. I bit him good, though, right on the hand. Did you get any of the blood sampled? I saw some hit the floor. Yes, sampled and transferred back to the lab. Excellent. I can patch in through this computer and do a remote analysis. Bingo. DNA from the sample matches DNA taken from the metro station hideout. This is the guy. This is our serial killer X. He killed the policeman, and he's been killing all of the other guys on your case list. What did he want with you? He wanted to know what we knew about the torturer. He made me look it up on the net. He knows the whole M.O. now. The abduction, torture, suicide thing. Thomas. The torturer is on your case list, and he's the only one whose trail hasn't gone cold since we ran into this serial killer X. X wants the torturer to die. He's hunting him down. Take a look at this. This is Jennifer Alden, reporting from police headquarters. Developments in the case of the torturer serial killer. A retired gym teacher from the city's juvenile rehabilitation program has informed police of contact he had almost eight years ago with a troubled youth named Carl Anderson who reported fantasies that match the torturer's methods exactly. Authorities are now asking the public to inform police if they know of Carl Anderson's whereabouts. Do not approach the suspect, as he should be considered armed and dangerous. Sources within the police department are telling me they are also concerned because their informant can no longer be located. Department spokespersons have refused comment on this latest development. This is Jennifer Alban, reporting for News Channel 5. Carl Anderson. Hmm. Gym teacher tells the cops on you, and now the teacher can't be found. Okay, Rosa, we have to find the school where this teacher worked. School and city district records are in the basement. Follow me. Hopefully this key will get us where we need to go. Yeah, 
Busted my flashlight, though. Stay put. I thought I saw something down there in the dark. I'll be there in a minute. Jump down and see if you can find your way back to the stairs. I'll go back this way. There's no way to pass this thing. Climb down to the next floor and I'll meet up with you down there.
Jesus, Thomas, it took you long enough. Eight years ago would put the kid and the teacher at the same school in 1997. Here it is. Anderson Carl. I a lot of Carl Andersons, but I bet this is our guy. He was enrolled or sentenced to an educational rehabilitation center for the severely troubled. St. Joseph's Secondary on Northeast 52nd and Fremont. It's been closed for five years, and no wonder. That's one of the worst parts of town. Christ, the cops have just been letting it go to hell for years. And what about the faculty? It doesn't list occupations, just a list of names. I'll take it back to the lab and see what I can find. It's him. He's been listening to us. It looks like we've attracted other unwanted attention. for it. What about our serial killer X? He's got the same information we do, so that means he's also going to go to the school. Perhaps I can catch two killers with one net. I'll drive you there, then head back to HQ and work on that faculty list. Thomas, it's Malcolm. How are you doing? Is the investigation going well? It's going as well as it can be. Wait, what are you doing here? How did you know where to find me? Oh, just a coincidence. Saw you from across the street. Coincidence? I don't know what your game is here, Van Horn, but I've got a job to do, if you'll excuse me.
timing. Just walked in. Start sending data when ready. Processing. This may take a few. Human tissue. Color, adipose deposits, and adjacent facial hair stubble indicate that these are human lips and facial skin. Also, I've run the faculty list. The gym teacher at your location during Carl Anderson's tenure was a man by the name of Samuel Tibbetts. And before you ask, yes, Tibbetts' medical records provided his blood type. It's a match with the facial tissue.
Thomas speaking. Thomas, I just wanted to make sure you met me up front when we were done. I didn't want to interfere with the investigation, but... <laughs> just ends at a bank of lockers. Thomas, have you looked inside? Hmm, I believe you found Mr. Tibbetts. Him 
image seems to match personnel file. It didn't come through properly, though. Can you take a close-up? Help is on the way. Who did this to you? Carl Anderson. The torturer. Okay, take it easy. Do you know where he is now? Other man came to Carl Lake. me here to die. So send an EMT immediately. Cancel. No. Two points of note. DNA taken from the hair matches current profile we've established for the guy who's been stalking you. The guy we're calling Serial Killer X. Also, there are some additional organophosphate particles present. Similar to the pesticide we found on the matchmaker's neck? An exact match. I've been running an analysis on those samples. It's azenfos methyl and is class 1, highly toxic. Was previously used as an insecticide for all sorts of agricultural crops, now banned for domestic use, and can only be used commercially by permission. This particular formulation includes some other trace chemicals and can be matched to a brand name called Applewell. I've put in a contact to the company to see if we can get a purchaser's list. Applewell. Apples. Yes, as I said, it was used on all sorts of agricultural crops. Apples would be one of those. Yeah, the town of Briar is pretty rural. Any chances there's an apple orchard up there? I'll get right on it.
got it. There are no currently licensed fruit orchards in the town or the surrounding countryside of Briar. But there was one once. Apple Seed Orchard, just outside of Briar on Route 4. In business for 40 years, but closed its doors just 10 years ago after a tremendous outbreak of apple maggots. The orchard never recovered. Curious, though. County deeds show it's owned by an out-of-state real estate firm. So why are you in on this? I have uh, a sense of responsibility. I needed to help. Help? You mean with my investigation? Yes, among other things. <laughs> there was a time I thought I was the best investigator the Bureau ever had. Now it seems they were interested in me for other reasons. What do you mean? I saw my file. Apparently I'm some sort of circus freak to them. Hmm. That may not be helpful. I wonder how much they know of what is happening. I would stay away from the Bureau as long as I could. It's not like I have much choice, since they still think I killed those two officers. Their deaths were unfortunate, but maybe it's best this way. Best? You seem to know a lot more about what's happening than you're letting on. This is Appleseed Orchard Estate. Stay on your toes. I'll drop you off at the house and head over to the barn. I'll meet up with you later.
yourself to be. I'm running the phrase through lexical databases, but not getting anything. Continue searching the house. Maybe its meaning will become apparent. Looks like it's about me. It is. Did a quick scan. There's a few newspaper stories about your investigations. It's even got internal bureau newsletter articles on your career progress, promotions, postings, things like that. The last few pages are newspaper clippings about serial killers not being found. Some of these are circled in red, with a big exclamation point beside them. Looks kind of like our serial killer X has been following your life and career pretty closely. Yeah, but why? Maybe he likes a challenge. Maybe he's chosen you to go up against and he's trying to understand his enemy. Maybe. Maybe, but... I don't know. Seems more to it than that.
Anderson, the one the press calls the torturer. Christ, it looks like serial killer X got to him, painted him up, tortured him, drove him to suicide, just like Anderson did to his victims. Our man must be near. Be careful. Your lab access is terminated as of now. Taxpayers wouldn't like you using resources when you're officially on suspension. Farrell, listen to me. Talk to Rosa. We're this close to getting the guy. I don't know what poor innocent schmuck you're chasing, but stop it. Now. Come into the Bureau. Give yourself up and we'll talk. There are things we need to discuss. I can't do it, Farrell. Then play it your way, but we'll find you. Count on it. Looks like you're on your own, Thomas. Carl? Carl? Mom, Mr. Torturer. Don't you want to know what it feels like? We're not even half done. Carl. You know how this will end. I was put on this earth to bring you to justice. Your fate is in my hands. It's a shame. Wait for it. Now, perhaps you know what you have put others through. Although it makes you even more pathetic that you weren't brave enough to kill yourself. Now I'll have to do the job and make it look right. So sad. Now! <sighs> you shouldn't have come here. Welcome to consciousness, my friend. Though you won't enjoy it long. <sighs> we were good in the beginning. But you turned out to be kind of a failure, didn't you? <laughs> you still don't get it? I've been using you, Ethan Thomas. <laughs> I watched you, and followed you, 
and used you to find the serial killers you so desperately sought, and then kill them. <laughs> okay. I must admit, I was a bit dramatic. Killed them the same way they'd killed their own victims. <laughs> a bit of fun, you know. <laughs> I got good at it. Shame it ruined you at the Bureau. But some things are unavoidable. Of course, since you're no longer going to be any help, there's no reason to go on this way. How would you prefer to die? And I didn't like the torturer's methods much. Too risky. Perhaps a slit across the throat, like the roadside carver. Ah, short and sweet. Or maybe the bone cutter. Neatly dissected the body, removed the internal organs, and labeled them for the police to find. Oh, yes, he was one of mine, too. We were so close to him, but I got there first. <laughs> Perhaps it would be better if you lost a... <laughs> Destroy it. It has caused all this madness. Go, kill it now.
I can never go back, Anna. No, not to the Bureau, not to your old life. Thomas, you have looked into the face of hate, the visage of evil. Know that hate is in your soul, too. It is, sadly, everywhere. Mastering one's fear and controlling one's hatred is perhaps the most difficult thing one can do. Well, at least it's over. It's dead, and the killings will stop. Stop the car. No, no, you still don't understand. He's done unspeakable things, even though those he killed were killers themselves. But he isn't responsible. He's not in his right mind. He's Stop the goddamn car now! Open the trunk. Thomas, don't! He was a good boy. We were all good people. We were able to fight it back, most of us. My nephew was not as strong. He fell victim and destroyed so many things. We fought to save him. I, I, I must continue to do so. I don't care whether the sick fuck is in his right mind or not. Think of what you are doing! Both of you have a chance for redemption. Redemption? Listen, old man, you used me just like he did. You you used me to save your precious nephew, a, a serial killer. You're, you're no better than he is. You really know how to impress a lady, Thomas. Around here, people keep to themselves. Why the lay-low routine? I've been cleared of the murders, but my suspension has got me thinking. I guess I just... I don't know who to trust anymore. Yeah, tough break. Man, you look like crap. Yeah, I've been better. You said you found something interesting? Yes, very odd. A cult seems to be behind all this. We can tie them to the deaths of the serial killers investigated by your department. A cult? The man responsible was Leland Van Horn. Yes, I know. He manipulated both you and us. But where is he? We have no Leland Van Horn in custody. He... Uh, look, I explained all of this in my deposition to the Bureau. But a lot of unanswered questions remain, Thomas. Which brings me to why I'm here. Maybe we could make better sense of all this if more were found, but I guess you did your best. <sighs> anyway, the results suggest Leland may not have been working alone. Do you know anything about this? Who these people are? Are you affiliated with them in any way? Rosa, can I trust you? Of course you can trust me, Thomas. We've been through a lot together. Look, I have no idea what any of it means. Something weird, something unexplainable happened during my investigation, but truthfully, the questions you ask, I, I just, I can't answer. I'm sorry, Rosa. I'm sorry too, Thomas. I really am. Take care of yourself. <laughs>